After many delays with massive cost overruns, the Edinburgh tram network opened in May 2014. The final cost was £776 million, over twice the original budget. In addition, the council has been landed with £200 million in interest on a 30-year loan to cover the funding shortfall. The new system is under half of the length of the original proposal, running from York Place past Waverley Railway Station, Haymarket Station, Edinburgh Park Station to the airport, a distance of 14 kilometres with 15 stops en route. Most of Edinburgh's public transport remains bus-based, with some commuter rail lines. Many businesses along the busy Princess Street in the city centre were adversely affected by the construction work. The main road was shut for 10 months, with long-term bus diversions taking shoppers away from the main stores. Twenty-seven Urbos three tram sets costing £1.5 million each were built by Spanish firm Construcciones y Auxiliar de Ferrocarriles, but because of cutbacks to the system, only 17 are needed. Transport for Edinburgh has tried without success to offload the surplus to other tram operators. Trams run from 5am until midnight on an 8 to 10 minute headway Monday to Saturday with 15 minute gaps on Sunday. The complete journey time is 40 minutes. Prospective tram drivers need to pass a battery of psychological tests before training to weed out potential risk takers. There are currently 32 drivers with 52 ticket inspectors to deter fare dodging. During the first year of operation, the system ran at almost half a million pound loss.
Whilst some Dunedeners are getting on board, it will be a while before derision turns to affection.